Hello, my name is Daryl Whalen Nash. I wanted to show you how to make a really great loaf of French bread in a bread machine. And believe it or not, um, it is very difficult to make a good loaf of French bread in a bread machine. It's easy to make uh, white bread and white wheat bread, but French bread, um, if you want it to be the true article, you don't want to be using oil in it. Uh, most bread machine recipes call for oil. If you look at the manual in your bread machine, it will probably say to put a little bit of oil in your French bread recipe. But um, that takes away from the chewiness and the texture that most people come to expect with French bread. So what I want to show you how to do is, is to make a, uh, a loaf of French bread that that turns out well, that rises well, because most French breads in bread machines tend to be rather small. So uh, this is a, a Sunbeam machine, it's one of my favorites, um, and this is my French bread recipe, which is a custom made, uh, I've owned dozens of bread machines and cooked in all of them and made hundreds of loaves of bread, and uh, it's taken me a long time to figure out how to do French bread where it turns out well. But this one has turned out well. Um, what I like to do is I use a bottle opener to make sure to get the handle up because this is still hot. And then uh, once the handle is up, then you can remove the bread this way. Now this is a two pound machine. This is only a one and a half pound loaf I've got in here. And that's because I have enhanced it so that it's going to rise well. So let's go ahead and take it out so you can see the size of this loaf here. Now that is a big, beautiful loaf of French bread that's lightweight, it's, you know, it's not a dense loaf. And uh, just to give you an idea of how large this is, this, this is a two pound machine. This is only a one and a half pound recipe. Uh, this is what a standard one and a half pound loaf pan looks like. Uh, and this is a two pound loaf, which in the sunbeam, it's, it's a very big pan. So you're going to get a nice loaf, nice size loaf of French bread with this recipe. And here is the recipe for this, this loaf of French bread. Let me get this machine out of the way. Incidentally, this pan comes out of the Toastmaster 2BR15, which is right here. Um, so this is your recipe. Please make notes of this. I'm just going to go down the line here. You want your water at 80 degrees, heated in your microwave about 20 to 30 seconds. Use a oven thermometer or some, you know, a meat thermometer, something that shows 80 degrees on it. And you want one and a quarter cups of water. You want uh, two tablespoons of sugar. That's important. That feeds the yeast. You want one half teaspoon of salt, and this is critical. You want one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, which is going to cause your yeast to work even better than it normally does, and you need that in French bread because you don't have any oil in it, and to get the right texture and to have it turn out the right size, you need this lemon juice, and it's uh, real lemon or store brand, whatever you need from the store. and. Um, and then three and a half cups plus one tablespoon of bread flour, not all-purpose flour. Make sure it, uh, it says bread flour. This is white lily. It's ideal for bread machines. Unble unbleached bread flour. Get the brand that that's in your store, whatever you like, but just make sure it's bread flour and not any other kind of flour, not self-rising flour, not all-purpose flour, but it says bread flour on the bag. And then uh, you need two teaspoons of yeast, and um, you can go a little less than that, you know, if you're concerned about it being too big for your machine, the loaf, I mean, and you could go with one and a half teaspoons, I would not go any less than that. But this is a big machine, so I went ahead and put two teaspoons in it. Um, so, this, this turned out really well. I, I, again, it's real hard to get French bread to be a decent size, and this one is, and I know it'll work for you if you follow this recipe. And this is bread machine yeast, Fleischmann's 
bread machine yeast, that's always good. I, I prefer that if you can find it in the store. Um, you can use active dry if you wish, but I prefer this. So good luck with your French bread. I know this recipe will work for you because uh, I've made a lot of loaves of bread. Thank you.